Recently I did a video praising how amazing DaVinci Resolve is. I think I've changed my mind now. So I know DaVinci Resolve is the go-to software for a lot of people, including me. It is my go-to software that I'm using for everything for my feature film. But recently I've just getting so much impatient because there's so many problems. So I wanna go through them so that I can talk about it and I'm sure a lot of you guys have the, exactly the same frustration. First of all, it crashes nonstop. When I just start the project, it just crashed for no reason. It just sometimes it just closed the window and when it opens back, you have to open different project to go back into the main one. So for example, I have a feature film. If I click on it right away, it doesn't work, it crashes. And then if I go, let's say to my template of YouTube, poof, now it's working. Then I can close it down. Then I can go click onto my feature film one and now it's gonna go back. Why? I don't know, it makes me go mental. You don't know how many times I'm losing just going to those doing that route to make sure that I can go to my freaking project. Anyway, the second thing is so many plugins that that is working for Pro Tools or the professional uh, DAW, it's not working for DaVinci, it's not supported. Even if they say, yeah, it is supposed to be supported, it's never native. There's always some workaround that you have to go through. It is a professional sound design, you know, that do Atmos and all that stuff, great. But then when it's time to use plugin that professional use on Pro Tools and you want to use it in DaVinci, it doesn't work. For example, there's a software called Auto Align 2. This is where you want to fix the phasing between the lava mic and the boom, because sometimes if you want to use these two at the same time for certain words and whatever, you have to, the phasing is wrong. So that software is crucial because it fixed everything, but you cannot use it in DaVinci. So again, it's such an important, important tool that doesn't work, but it says it's supposed to, but it doesn't. So there, I can give you a list of so many software that it's not included or it's not supported in DaVinci compared to Pro Tools. Everything works, it is the standard, Hollywood is using it for a reason. Even for me, I'm ditching DaVinci for at least the sound design aspect to go to Pro Tools because it's so frustrating and I'm losing so much time when it's supposed to be a no-brainer that DaVinci should just accept and support all the plugins that is supposed to be native and as a standard. Another thing, it's again, it's plugin related, it's for example, the answer. I'm using the answer for color grading and it crashes all the time. And I don't know if it's a the answer problem. I talked to them, they say no. So I guess it's a DaVinci problem. But again, it's just that simple little thing that's supposed to work perfectly and crashes all the time. So the answer is one of them. There's another plugin called Place It, crashes all the time. So, so many beautiful plugins that it's supposed to be working is just not stable at all. So sound wise, it's just a pain. Color wise, it's great. Uh, editing wise, is great. But for sound design mostly, that's where I have most of my issues. The main issues that I have is in Atmos. Maybe for you guys, if you're not mixing in Atmos, you're not gonna see the, the benefit of that. But still, when I do 5.1, it's flawless. It's The speed is great and it's it doesn't crash that much. But as soon as you go Atmos, it's lagging, the playback is not real, it's just not stable. So, and as soon as you load your feature film into an Atmos template, it's just, it's slow, it bugs like crazy. Sometimes it crashes and when you try to do panning automation, it's just not stable at all. It's all those little details that makes me go crazy. And right now I'm switching to Pro Tools because I need stability, but mostly I need to have the standard of quality where everything works perfectly. And sometimes Pro Tools, even if it's more doubting as a software, it seems easier to do certain things. When I'm doing it in DaVinci, I'm like, why it's so complicated? So it's just a quick video to just rant about it because it's so great in so many ways but at least in the sound aspect design with Fairlight, there's ways to go. And I don't know why they don't fix it or I don't, I, I just don't get it. Why they don't just put a lot of effort into Fairlight because they're been trying to sell Atmos for years now, but it's far from being stable. And you wanna make sure that, you know, you, DaVinci or at least Fairlight can be a contender to make feature film great quality. Uh, but I don't think it's there yet. So stay tuned, I'm gonna make way more feature film videos about how I'm making them, how I color grade and sound design and all of that. So hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.